What's up, YouTube? SRT Dad. Guys, this wicker bill, this two-piece wicker bill is crap. It's messing up my car. Let me show you. So yeah, guys, I freaking took it off. Check this out. Look at this damage. Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. My truck's ruined, guys. No! Welcome back YouTube SRT Dad guys. So my trunk's basically screwed, right? I made holes in it. These are the original holes to my original spoiler. I got three, so there's two holes to the original spoiler, right? I got three additional holes for this uh, spoiler I put on. So that's a total of what, four plus, there's seven holes in this damn truck, guys. So before, before we continue, I'm gonna get rid of this trunk in the long run, guys. I'll put a picture of what I wanna get eventually. It's, it's a carbon fiber trunk guys and has like a little like spoiler to it. It's really nice. I got I got the idea from a guy on my one of my Facebook groups who no longer owns that charger. He got a Hellcat instead. But um, for now guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this spoiler out. I'm going to take all these little things off the holes out here. I'm going to fill in the holes with some rubber uh, uh, hole fillers I have. And I'm going to spray paint the spoiler guys matte black. And then in a few weeks from now, I'm actually going to have my guy from uh, Arning Customs. He's going to wrap my trunk in all carbon fiber for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to want to keep the spoiler or not when I do wrap it in carbon fiber. Let me know in the comments so uh, see what you guys think. But for today, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to spray paint it in gloss black and see how that looks, guys. So let's go ahead and let's, let's get the spoiler off. All right, guys, so I'm looking at my original holes here. Like, these freaking screws, they rusted off, guys. That's how bad this got. Look, they got all rusty from, I'm guessing, water getting in a little bit. So, yeah, this trunk, this whole trunk's eventually going to have to go, guys. Um, that's just a disadvantage of adding a, a, a spoiler to these older chargers. You got to make holes in them, guys. And Drilling holes into your car, you know, it's never a good idea. But I knew doing it that I was gonna keep this trunk forever. Like I said, I always had plans for the trunk being swapped out for uh, the carbon fiber one I wanted. But guys, just overall this wicker bill idea, it's, it's temporary, guys. It's just something you really wanna consider before doing. All right, guys, so I got it off. I used the 10 millimeter uh, to get it out. Cause that middle one, the, the, the cross on it was just rusted. But you can see how it's doing here. Uh, you can see the other original two holes here. This one's gonna need a new rubber plug, so I'll take this out. I have a bunch of them. You can see it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's rusting. As you can see, it's, it's legit rusting, guys. So I'm gonna have to, like I said, get a new trunk eventually. Carbon fiber one, like I said, the one I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this trunk up a bit and then I'll prep the uh, spoiler and then paint it. All right, so it's all cleaned up now, guys. Now I want you guys to kind of picture this, right? I'm gonna wrap it in carbon fiber. You tell me how you think it'll look just with a carbon fiber wrap. No spoiler. I might add a spoiler with the carbon fiber wrap. I still don't know. And then also imagine that carbon fiber trunk that I want on here. I think overall it would look way better. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go fix this spoiler. All right, guys. So here's the car. Kind of see the back there with no spoiler. It looks shorter, a little shorter. I like the look, guys. It's rugged. I like the look with no spoiler. Um, one of the reasons I want to get rid of the spoiler eventually is because everyone does it. You know, everybody's doing the spoiler on these older chargers. And a lot of guys are actually mimicking, mimicking my look, which I don't mind. It's just, I need to get ahead of them, right? I need to keep changing my car up, so make it make sure it's different from the rest. Alright guys, so here's the, uh, the spoiler here. I have it on my bench here. I'm going to clean it up with some soap and water. Take it to the side of the house and then add some, some gloss black Rustilium spray paint. And hopefully it turns out good, guys. Also, I'm gonna fill these holes. I'm gonna take all these little metal things out and fill them with rubber, uh, little rubber hole fillers I have. And then uh, spray paint that. Put them on and spray paint. All right guys, so these are my little rubber seals here. Now they have multiple sizes. So the size I got, I don't know what it is. They're all mixed up anymore, but you can see, I, here are all the holes here. Here's all the holes, right? I filled one in right there. There, it's filled in. So I'm gonna fill in the rest with these little rubber things and then I'm gonna spray paint it gloss black, guys. All right, guys, so I got all the holes filled. You can see there, those little black rubber things, little hole fillers there. So now I'm just gonna clean it up, 
and with some soap and water and then uh, take it to the side of the house and uh, put on some cardboard and spray paint it glass. All right, all right, guys. So I got the clear coat on. I mean, not the clear coat. I got the spray on for the first little coat here. I'm gonna go to Checkers right now and go get some clear coat because I didn't get any. Let's go, guys. All right, see you over there. Update on the car, guys. I didn't mention it but uh my my steering wheel is all good now and uh she goes nice and straight she's nice and aligned as you can see there nice and straight she's running good again guys Woo! all right guys i'm gonna head over to checker o'reilly get some of that clear coat uh, i didn't know i was supposed to get clear coat i thought it's just you know you spray it on and and that's it you know what i mean a couple coats but uh i'm gonna get the clear coat and that way it's nice and shiny nice shiny and uh and we'll be good to put it back on guys so let's let's head over there all right guys let's check out that side profile without the spoiler a little reflection here you can't really tell a little blurry oh, hope everybody's okay the ambulance is driving by all right guys i got my little can of clear coat here there's the uh the charger with no spoiler how do you like that look guys i think it looks good Alright guys, so I'm done painting spoiler. It's still, it's it's not fully dry. It's dry to the touch. There it is. You can see it has some bubbles here and there. Some they already had. I could have uh, sanded it down and got rid of those bubbles, but it's not a big deal. I uh, just, you know, this is not a permanent thing, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have my son help me put this. My my oldest son help me put this spoiler back on, just to hold it in place and screw it back in, and then we'll check out the final results. Alright guys, so she's all done now. Pulling up to it now, parked kind of far away so in the shades, so guys can kind of see better. There it is. guys like I said here's the final results uh, like I said before I think eventually the spoiler is gonna be removed and just have like I said all the carbon fiber trunk wrap um, I'll let you guys know later on let me know in the comments you know see what you guys think about that but we'll drive by later I'll have my son record the car drive by and then uh, and then uh, we'll, that's how we'll end the video but that's gonna be all for today guys we'll just do that drive by at the end of the video like i said i'm srt dad thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comments like comment subscribe i'm out